take a look here on the passenger side of the truck. Keep an eye out for a brownish color monkey. These are Gwenin red tail primates. There's one down here on the ground with that big, long, beautiful tail. There's going to be another one up here on the logs. Uh, it's really cool for primates. They don't make a lot of noise. They're actually virtually silent. They do sound like birds chirping up there. And they'll use uh, facial expressions, body gestures, and they'll even use that amazing tail to warn each other of any potential danger. Now, those little uh, faces are really cute and cuddly, but they have pouches in their cheeks that they can store almost as much food as their stomachs can. So they are really cool. Looks like we are here at the gates of the amazing, the extraordinary Habari Preserve. Uh, we, we cut that program last year, remember? Uh, we're still trying to find the rest of the interns. We will find them one day as we make our way through. Watch the hands and heads in those gates there. But keep your eyes open because in this area, the poop here by him. But you're going to see the little bay diker we were looking at earlier today. She is full size there at that 18 inches high. I think we are in luck with our copy up here on the driver's side. Carol, let's pull up a little bit further there. We'll see if we can't stop here for just a moment. Right about there should work. I don't want to try to stand up to get a better view. You, you can do so now. We'll be here for just a few more moments. This is our male Okapi. Uh, their closest living relative is a giraffe. If you look at their head there, you'll see those beautiful hurry ossicones on the side of their head. It looks like he's going to try to lay down there. The little tongue you see sticking out there at the very end, it looks rather small, but that tongue is about 18 inches long. He can actually lick his ears in the back of his head with us. Those zebra party pants he's wearing there uh, are kind of a disruptive pattern, very similar to the bongo and a few of the other animals we'll see. It helps them hide when they're in the underbrush. And it's also like a fingerprint, so that way baby Okapis can look at mom's rear end and know that that is my mom <laughs> and not the other one just by identifying that pattern there. You're going to see that tongue there. He flips it over his head. Now, uh, you know what? Everybody has seen it, so we probably should get moving along. Another way that they like to mark their territory is by spraying urine. So a flock of flamingos is called a flamboyance, and can anybody take a wild guess what a herd of rhinos might be called? A crash, exactly. That is our crash of southern white rhinos. These guys are the most social. Actually, the only social of the rhinoceros living in that family group of that crash of about 15 individuals. We're going to take a shortcut out here to the watering hole. Our rhinos talk to each other with grunts and growls and snarls. Mothers, like we've got a little bit of a glimpse of in the back, uh, make a panting and cooing sound to talk to one another. But rhinos can actually communicate with making no sound whatsoever. And they do that with the little divots and pits in the ground that you see there that are full of rhino poop. Those are called right, middies. They're yeah. a communal bathroom that all the rhinos go in. They'll leave a deposit and uh, other rhinos will come by. They convince the elephants to keep their trunks on. These are African bush elephants. Girl, you put your spoon right there. Why don't you do that? Now you can't use that spoon you put on the table. Go mm -hmm. get another one. If you don't Let come me see here, I can. Excuse me? It's called a brain freeze. You can't eat cold stuff if you do that thing. Sit down. Do like this. Okay. Do like that. Put your finger right there. Hold hold it. Hold it. Hold Hold Oh, shoot. 
80% of our popcorn. Wow. One. No, the birds can come over here. Yep. <laughs> Y'all hold on. Is it? Yes, it's a hurry. Yeah. Well. Marcel, how you get the car? That's my spoon. Uh-uh. Here you go. It's your own spoon. Ooh. Now, how I get the popcorn, I literally have it open for everybody. <laughs> Maybe because y'all uh, are turned over. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to get a new spoon. Go get one. Why well, go with her? Maybe go with her. All well, right. I'm scared somebody might snatch her up. All right. You might see a little sleepy girl like her. And think, oh, let's go grab this cute girl. Can't go home with us. <laughs> we don't want that, do we? No. No, we don't. Come on. Come right back. All right. Come right back. Girl, see, it's, it's why you can't go by yourself because you ain't looking. I am. All right. <laughs> That's why you can't go nowhere by yourself because, you know why? Because. You don't know how to act. Get to it, come on. Come, no, you already got it. Okay. Oh. Let go. Okay, come on. Let go, let go, let go. Let go. Okay. What? What did you say? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. What? I'm sorry. I'm trying to hurry up and go. All right. That would be too much. I don't want one. Um, Thank you. Thank you for trying. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. What a popcorn. This mine, right? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. All right. It's my spoon, move it. Why? Okay. It's not okay. It's, it's okay, I'm not buying another one. Drink that or somebody. You better lick it off the ground. No. <laughs> drink it. Mama, drink it. Drink it. <laughs> Whose fault was it? I can't hold nothing. Sorry, girl. Ow. I might get it. I'll share this one again. I'll share this cupcake at home. Let me see. All of them here. Yeah, I'm going to use it. I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Carney and he's already on it. What?